guys, what is up? So today I am going to be doing a, oh, I should probably be like, hey, it's Ava. Hi. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ava. But you probably know that from watching, from clicking on this video. So, um, okay. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video and I asked you guys on my Instagram story what questions you guys wanted to ask and I'm going to answer them right now in this video. So, keep watching if you wanna hear me answer some questions, some really pretty cool questions that you guys came up with. So, let's do that. Am I or have I been bullied about my height? And the answer is yes. I have. Um, when I was in school, it was really difficult for me because I did get bullied for my height. I was always the tallest, so I always felt like I st stood out. And I feel like when you're in school, that's a really hard thing because we are all trying to fit in and trying to figure out who we are and we're young and those things bother us. I had so many people coming up to me and telling me how tall I was and that I should play basketball and all of these things. And it really made me more insecure about it. And I know that their intentions probably weren't terrible but when they're always pointing it out and making little jokes like they were in the movie honestly that was kind of my life and it was really difficult but i think you know through time we figure out that we are this way for a reason and i think that's really important to understand because those little differences are gonna make us stand out and standing out is a good thing guys stand tall stand out yes Byron, i'll leave right by what is this accent He's going farther away. Question number two. What is my favorite food? Okay, so you guys probably don't know this, but I am a huge foodie. I love food so much, so much. I would have to say my favorite food is sushi. I love sushi, but I also love pasta, gumbo, tacos. Food is really great. I am 17, 17 years old, like 17 and a half. My birthday is in April, so I'm an Aries. Yo, 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 all my Aries out there. What's up? Did I just dab? That's totally not a thing anymore. I really apologize. Eee, that is a hard one. I honestly have to say that I wasn't expecting it because this is a teen rom-com and because of the message that it has, it has such a positive and powerful message and I thought it would be really difficult for people to rip that apart. But most of the things that people were saying were that height isn't a real issue and we shouldn't be making movies about this because it's kind of stupid and that's not a problem and that's really hard because i don't think that any person should be able to dictate what someone's insecure about we all are insecure about honestly the stupidest things but we are and we're insecure about those things that make us different because it's hard it's hard to be different and it's always that thing that someone's pointing out so um yeah, I wasn't expecting that. And I think it's also kind of ironic because these people are somewhat bullying our insecurities while we're talking about a movie about bullying insecurities. So I feel like those people kind of need to watch the movie a little bit more and really try to understand what it's about. But again, we're not gonna be able to make everybody love the movie. There's always gonna be some hate um, and not everybody's gonna relate to it. So it's okay, but I have to say that I think the good definitely outweighs the bad because of all the people that have said that the message really affects them or all of my tall peeps that reached out. Thank you. We have so many more than I thought. I thought I was alone. Definitely not alone. Um, so yeah, that definitely just doesn't make the bad seem so bad. People were asking this one. It is lavender purple. I also like the smell. It's such a nice smell. So it's like a two in one color. It's very pretty. I like to wear it also. It, not the plant, the color. Just to, so we're clear there. I feel like that was obvious, but you know, never know. <laughs> that was like really not that funny. I don't know why I just laughed at myself. I'm another person that like laughs at their jokes. That's why it's not funny half the time. There's also, I mean, everybody on our cast was so funny. I should have learned. Don't laugh at your jokes, Ava. They're not funny, especially when you laugh at them. I started dancing when I was two years old in Michigan and then my mom opened her dance studio when I was three. So I grew up there and I still dance and I absolutely love it. 
music and dancing and just expressing yourself and art, it's great. Um, I started acting after I moved to California, which was when I was like 13, 14. That's when I started because I've always wanted to do it. And so I jumped into an acting class and just fell in love with it. Not saying that I was good at the beginning. Was not. I don't think I was. But it's all a learning process and I think the hardest thing about acting is just letting yourself go and not being in your mind too much and not thinking what other people are thinking about you, which is a really difficult lesson to learn. I love that I can tell a story through somebody else's eyes and I can put myself into somebody else's shoes. And I think the coolest thing about actors is that you can't be judgmental at all. You can't judge the person that you're playing. You have to figure out why they're thinking these things and what they've gone through that makes them this way. So awesome. I love it so much. So yeah. I was in ballet, I was in dance, and I was just walking out, it had just got finished, and I got a call from my manager, and you know, I had been waiting f to hear from her, because the audition process was crazy, it was like a five, six month audition process, and I went in like six times, it was the most nerve wracking time of my life, because I wanted it so badly, and I was just so nervous, it was really difficult. Um, so she called me and I answered and she was like, hey, Ava, so I have the casting directors on the phone. And I was like, what? Okay. She goes, you might want to sit down. Okay. So I sat down and they said, hi, you have, you got the role. You're going to be playing Jody in Tall Girl. And I just started bawling my eyes out. I was hysterically crying while all these dancers are walking around like, is Ava okay? Like, what is wrong with her? And yeah, and I just, I think I said thank you probably 200 times. I was like, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you so much. Literally the entire conversation. And I don't even remember what they were saying because I was just in shock. And then I realized that my mom wasn't with me because while I was in dance, she went to go get her hair done and that was like right around the corner. And so I was like, wait, can I, can I call my mom? So I like hung up, well, I didn't like hang up. We like mutually ended the call. I called my mom and I was like, mom, I got it while I was still crying. And she goes, Ava, what, you got hit? I was like, no, mom, I got it. Are you okay? Am I okay? Like what? I was like, that is a weird response. She thought that I got hit by a car. I guess like walking out of the dance studio because I said I got it. She thought that I said I got hit. And then I was like, mom, I got the part. She was like, oh my God, you got the part. And then we both started crying. And we spent the entire day, I spent the entire day crying because it just didn't feel real. It was such a long process and there was so much into it. And I was just so thankful. And oh my God, it was crazy. That was honestly the best day ever. Such an amazing day. and kind of a fun story so when are you guys getting new music and that is a really exciting thing because the answer is very soon ah, I'm so excited so excited I cannot even tell you I'm so excited I have been working with Luke who is my co-star and Gus who's his bandmate in their band voila who is amazing so if you haven't listened to music go check it out but they have been helping me write and produce my own singles and they should be out within the next month or so. So I am really excited because I absolutely love them and I really hope that you guys like them too. This person asked if I was drinking enough water. Yeah, I'm so happy that you're concerned about that. Thank you so much. Um, but I am hydrated, got my water cup right here. Cheers, drinking some water. That was a terrible accent. Please don't judge that. Thank you for your concern. The H2O is in the body. Yeah. Woo woo. So my story is a little like this. Okay, so I, I'm just gonna say this because my accent kind of comes out sometimes and I really don't want to offend anyone. So like if you're British or Australian or like anything like that, I really don't want to offend you. It just comes out sometimes and I'm not really trying to be correct. So I really apologize. I probably should go take some dialect classes if I want to do it because I really should just stop or get it correct it's been a thing since i've been a kid it just kind of like comes out <laughs> i'm sorry so when i started on dance moms i had a lot of exposure very quickly and that led to a lot of body shaming and 
cyberbullying and it was really really difficult for me just you know being I think I was 10 11 and you know I had people telling me that I was anorexic and that I didn't eat or my mom wasn't feeding me and that I was too skinny and too tall and I looked crazy when I was dancing and that was really really difficult for me it really bothered me but I think it was just understanding that you don't know me and it was more important for me to know that I was a good person and that I was humble and that I was kind because of how important that is to me and knowing that they truly do not know me and that they are saying these things out of wanting attention or out of their own insecurities and that I shouldn't take these to heart so that's kind of what led me into just learning to love myself for who I was and learning to love my qualities and knowing that what these other people said wouldn't define me. Do you know my mom was a huge part of that and helping me build confidence. So that is why I talk about it so much is because I wanna really use my own experiences to help everyone because I know that we are all going through it and just learning to love ourselves is so incredibly important. So that's also why I started Self Love Club and um, I hope that we can all just join the club and be positive. So exciting. I love movies. Don't have a list in front of me. Sabrina with Harrison Ford. So good. Meet Joe Black. About Time. The Proposal. Pretty Woman. Aaron Brockovich. Wonder Woman. Spotlight. The Post. Oh, How to Lose a t Guy in 10 Days. So funny. Favorite series. Friends. Gossip Girl. The 100. Killing Eve. Big Little Lies. The Good Place. Also a good one. Oh, so good. So many good ones. I also love Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio. It's a great movie. I don't know why I started doing this, but I'm still doing it, so we're just gonna go with it. For this, I don't know if you're ready for this. The question you have all been waiting for. The one question that I've got about 10,000 times since Tall Girl came out. I'm pretty sure you know what it is. Are you ready for this reveal? I don't know if you are. I honestly, I honestly don't. I think you're ready. No, they are not. I wear size 10 normally, but in Nikes because they were a little, a little small, I do wear an 11 in women's. But my character Jody does wear a size 13 men's in the film, but Ava, right here, this one, wears size 10 or 11 women's shoes. Feet are not that big. They're not that big. Nope. They're like a normal foot size, but my hands are large. They are very big. Yep. And I'm so glad that we could clarify that. Well, there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that I answered some of the questions you guys were wondering. Please like and subscribe and comment below what other videos you guys would like to see or other questions and maybe I'll answer some in there too. What just happened? I think it just like choked on my spit. Weird. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much and thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of the support that you guys have given me. It means the world and I just can't wait to get to know you guys and meet some of you guys and thank you so much for watching Tall Girl. Love y'all. Peace out.